Hello, people of the internet, I'm Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, we finished the last of the level 1 bosses, thus letting us go forward to the level 3 bosses. Before that, though, I've decided that we are going to att again attempt to finish this courtyard mission, which apparently saved progress, so there is that. Um, so we will want to set up our team for this. We obviously want some healing in the back, but we also want some versatile damage as well. So, can you function from first? Yeah, you can function from first, so it's going to be a bit of an odd party setup here. But I think this party setup should be fine. Um, before I go, I should mention that there was apparently an update to the game since I last recorded it makes it so that enemies drop blood less often, but there is more blood in the courtyard, period. Well, not more. There is more blood in the courtyard, period, but it's also to the point where um, there will also be missions in the courtyard that aren't specific to the DLC, aka they're not story-related, that will let you gather blood more easily. Anyways, enough of that. We have some upgrades. We can get a formal jacket on you. Some silk robes and hardened plate on you. You've already got your martyr's flesh, and you will get refined plate. Can't do that one yet, unfortunately. Um, make sure their skills are up to snuff. Good. Good. Why'd I click on you? Good. Um, can't upgrade here either, so... Now we go on a trinket. Um, spree. You are going to get the Martyr Seal, so that you can be more protected at Death's Door. And then, you're also going to get the Crescendo Box for a bit more damage, a bit more speed. Sure, you take a little bit more stress damage, but I think that's fine, because you are honestly fine being stressed out. You, meanwhile, I want you to take... A damage stone, and I could give you Dismas's head, but it is a health decrease. It would be three points, though. That's not much, but stress. It is something we want to try and avoid for as much as possible. Um, you know what? Take the survival guide for a slightly increased scouting chance. Of course, our Vestal will take the healing items, so that we can have a bit better there. You, meanwhile, you are tanky enough, I think you can take Dismas's head, and then you actually have a pretty decent speed here. I don't really have any other exclusive items that I feel you should be given, so we'll pump up your damage a bit more. All right. Party is equipped. You are craving, so I should have checked that, and you're in a bloodlust. So provision-wise, still embark. Um, we're going to want two stacks of food will be fine. Just we're not camping, but there are still food checks. Um A stack of keys will be fine. I think we'll also take a stack of bandages and a stack of anti-venom this time. We want two stacks of torches just for the added accuracy buffs and possible stress de-doing. And then that will be fine blood-wise because we can get rid of her craving. Alright. Party is set up. Skills are in their ideal forms. Let's get this party started. Embark into the courtyard once more. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it should remain mapped from the last time. It did, in fact. That's good. Uh, you will get rid... Oh, wait, you were craving, not wasting. Whoops. Oh, well. Um, so we are actually right here. That's good. Um, we could backtrack and then travel up that way or we could proceed this way 
Given that this was locked by a key and it's a long, complicated route to get over here, I think heading in this direction is what we're meant to do. Um... There we go. Let's burn this down. Glittering gold. Uh, a vestal only item. Paid for in blood. Atonement beads. Plus 20% damage for melee skills. 3% crit for melee skills. But less virtue chance. I fear the whispers of my mind. Unfortunately, that's good for a melee vestal. And we play healer vestals. So, it's kind of useless. Sad to say. But, um, at least we got another one of the items. You downgrade the passive, that's good. Um, yeah, I think bringing him here was wise, because the enemies are not completely bleed resistant, at least. Um, you're dead, anyways, so I'd rather a high accuracy shot. Another here. one falls. You. It's a 50 50 shot. Nope, you whiffed. I was hoping Blind Fire would hit the this one so that we wouldn't have to worry about it. Unforeseen. It missed. Unforgiving. Um. Smite it, I suppose. Critically heal yourself? Cool. Nice dodge. That's what I was hoping to see. Okay, Blind Fire kill. Another abomination. Cleansed from our land. And some crests. Keep it. Keep the accuracy up. Because we don't know what we're facing. A hideous mutation. You've got to be kidding me. Again? Okay. We're up against the crocodile Again. You can cause bleed. Very minor bleed. But we gotta go for it. Because otherwise, we're not gonna win. Because it's the fucking Crocodilin. Why are you facing me up against him again, game? Skill and purpose. That's a damage of protection buff. He's got high enough stun resist. But we have to go for the chances. Nope. Teeth rake. Thank God we dodged. Okay. Now, though, he's in punish me range. Resist the debuff, resist the bleed. Unfortunately, I foresaw that. He's got a fairly high bleed resist, honestly. And a stressor accuracy debuff. Ugh. That's kind of bad. A time to perform beyond one's limits. That's a bleed. And a move. We resist both, though. Thank you. And I think now we do have to start focus party healing. <laughs> Sedated. Just keep wailing on the crocodile. Okay, we managed to get a bleed off. His bleed resist has now dropped. Of course, he heals himself. Because, why not? What's the buff that he was given, though? It's a dodge buff. A plus 45. Yeah, I'm not surprised you dodged that one. And he emerges for a big hit. Thankfully, it's not terribly big. Uh, still gonna focus heal here, though. Okay. His bleed resistance has dropped. This is when we wail on him. Sure. Well struck. You know what? That's worth it. You aren't in position four, which really doesn't matter because I don't have any of those exclusive trinkets that benefit you from being in position four, I suppose. Uh, this is a little bit annoying, though. I can still pick face you. Another stressor. It's fine, though. We have party heal. A momentary abatement. And then you're in range for this. Minimum damage. Awesome. Take 
to the face again. Punishment. Resist the debuffs. It's getting low, though. That is something to be happy about, is that it is getting low. That's not something to be happy about, though. That's a very bad party placement now. At least for you. And more stress. Ah, uh, you need to move back to proper positioning. Waste a turn, but that's all we got right now. That's what I like to see. A critical hit is awesome. And you may be able to finish it. You... <sighs> Party heal. Because it was literally our only vibe. You can attack multiple people with that. I thought that was a one target attack. You need to heal. You're bleeding. And get back to proper position. You punish him. Thank you. You resist both of them, though. Lurking fear. That's your move. And then Their death. Is broken. Thank God. Maintain the offensive. Okay, that battle could have gone a lot worse. Uh, last will and testament. A leper only one. And driven into the mud. More protection, health, less death blow resist. The last treasures of a king. Plus fifteen accuracy if HP is above sixty percent. That's actually quite nice. Forgotten Strongbox. It has no effect. Blood? No. You then. A handsome reward. Dissection Kit. Plus 35% bleed forward. chance. More damage. Um, those fools at the university. 15% blight and stun chance. Plague Doctor only. Can the Plague Doctor cause bleed? I wasn't... I'm not sure, actually. Okay, I was about to say, I didn't see anything forming there. I was going to be pissed if this was just a dead end. But, uh, things are looking a little hairy already. We got one person on death's door. Stress is moderate all around. Our vessel's going to need to start focus healing. Got a curio. A battle, a curio, and another battle, and another locked room. Okay. This is... This is huge. Very, very huge. Um... Stress. Of course. I should have remembered that um, as far as stress dealing ones go, we need to have our uh, flagellant be checking those out. Okay. Chevaliers and a manservant. You guys have stun attacks. I don't like that. Ah, uh, that's a guard, which is a little annoying. But still something we can deal with. Um, Bolos. Resist the movement, but it was multiple hits. That's what I was more concerned about. Uh, that's the bleed attack. We resisted, that's fine. That's also a bleed attack. That's not so good because Injury she's on the store. Set the stage for heroism. And that's another bleed attack. Thank you for dodging. Party heal. Get them out of death's door. Though they are suffering for the rest of the quest, which is less than ideal. Just keep wailing. Throw your daggers. One down, three to go. Okay, I am not gonna get them and off death's the door test. in this battle. Hold fast, or expire. Ah, uh, 
You're bleeding for five. This won't kill you unless it got a crit. It did not. You're dead next round, though. Party heal. We need to keep people topped up. Why you're not focusing on my flagellant, I don't know. Thank you for avoiding the double stunner. Why didn't you two avoid the double stunner? Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Of course you're stunned. And you're bleeding, so I can't even get take care of your bleeding. You're dead this round. Um, You can't even heal because you're too high health. Why are they not targeting my flagellant? Oh, thank god, you survived death's door. Um... You're bleeding for five, you have 18, you won't die, but we gotta try, Precision you will die. Thank god. So it'll be a one nature. chevalier on the rest of my party. Uh, you're gonna actually focus heal her. Because I'm tired of her getting so low. Thank you for focusing on the right unit. Because now he should be getting a buff. Should, being the keyword. Maybe sooner. Uh, you're gonna die from the bleed. So I want to try and prolong this so that I can get my heals. Nope. Great is the no weapon surprise. that cuts on its own. Blood, Jade, and Onyx. Don't have anything I'm feel comfortable dropping. Okay. Hag. Um. Yeah, let's give her some blood. Nothing, really. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. And we have another battle in here. What will it be? Manservants, Chevalier, and Courtesan. And, of course, they go for the stressor right off the bat. And the movement. Shit. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. We need to get rid of that Corsan. Daggers. Corsan is still alive. They're dead next round. Thirst. At least you're doing it on a... Okay, maybe you're not dead next round. And you're a lot more ugly now as well. Uh, you need to move back to proper position. Of course, you target our two Pitched units who are freaking near death. Good lord. Since when is the AI this smart? I need to do a party heal. A momentary I didn't want to because I wanted him to get his stuff, but in this situation, I'm forced to. You're dead. Go ahead, waste your turn on a guard. Two of our AoE, two of our multi-attackers are also stunned, which is less than ideal. Slowly, gently. Good. This is how a life is taken. Hardy heal. Because I need to keep these two topped up as much as I don't want to. As life ebbs, and your blisters of emptiness reveal themselves. And you're dead. Fuck. We can't continue. We're down a unit. And that's bad already. The fucking crocodilin. It's the one that screwed us over so badly. Why on earth we were made to face another one, I will never know. You're at least buffed now. You can only hit him, and his protection is 50%, so... This is just... This turned into a very, very not good mission. It started off looking like it was gonna go fine, but now... Because of the... 
Dinking crocodilin and all these crits that I'm getting dealt with. Oh shit. And you're paranoid. Fuck the crocodilin. Seriously, fuck the crocodilin. Focus fire, you're dead. And thank you for at least resisting the stoppage. Give them no quarter. You're gonna focus heal her. Because he can go on death's door, no the issue. And there's only one more left, so you know. Hope blossoms. Of course you would get a fucking crit. Of course. You're dead at least. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Drop, drop, take. Drop, take. Drop, take. Not what I meant to press. We can go north because this is a safe route at the very least. Um. From becoming unwound. Shut up. No! God damn it! Why would you do that? Why on earth would you do that? Madness. Sublimity of the intelligence. Oh, why would you surge that? That was stress relief, you stupid vessel. Oh, shit. We need to focus fire. Everybody is pretty much on death's door here, and that's terrible. our healer. You're fine being rapturous. That's actually good for you. Thank you for surviving, though you are blighted, so there's no guarantee now. Ah, uh, focus fire on him. He is dead. And we're More down to dust. One. More ashes. More disappointment. <sighs> At least you resisted the blighting. Ah, uh, get rid of the stunner. To be honest, we don't need to be stunned and locked to death. And of course, you get the curse. But you would. You did it. You won. No, you didn't. He didn't die. Kill him. <sighs> Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow oh. and insidious killer. Yeah, clearly overconfidence is a very insidious killer, given that it just wiped my party because I thought I had an actually good team. Let's just see what this other curio is. I don't even have any torches to burn it. I drop them all. Get a little bit of last second scouting. How many paths does this reveal? Another three fucking paths. Good lord. Yeah, we gotta leave. We lost three heroes here. So, they were so high level too, they should not have died. A team of level two heroes lasted longer than that. What did you get? That's perfectly fine. I don't let my torch get that low anyways. Good lord. Oh my Competition god. fosters skill and confidence. That was terrible. Three heroes lost. Level three heroes, all of them. 
because of a stupid crocodilian. I mean, you go and get yourself healed. Um, anybody else really stressed out? No. <sighs> Three heroes gone. That sucks so bad. I don't even have any replacements immediately lined up for them. Damn. Well, I've lost a bit of motivation here, as we just lost a lot of people. And what did we get in return? Three more Crimson Curse exclusive trinkets. One, two of them might be useful. One of them is completely useless. Yeah. But uh, I think I'm going to actually end this here because uh, I feel very disencouraged right now. So I've been Solarak Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. Outside of all that, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.